Good morning folks and welcome in for another video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Darren and welcome in and also welcome in if you're not new as well. I really appreciate the support guys, thank you very much. I pretty much vlog Monday to Friday, my working life as a class one driver so you guys can have a little bit of an insight on what we do basically as a day to day. And if you are new to driving or looking at doing driving, I'd 100% recommend it and also good luck with all your exams or your tests and everything you need to do to pass. And if you've got any questions, let me know down below and I'll try and answer as many as I can. And if not, hopefully one of my subscribers will be able to help you. We've got a very nice and easy run today, staying local. I've got one in Ashton and then I've got another one in St. Helens. That is two drops for today. And then after that, I'll probably go be doing some collections and going from here to there and a little bit of everywhere. Got some burgers for dinner. And I've got some milk for later as well for a brew. If you're wondering how I'm going to be cooking these little burgers, well, stay tuned for that one. Now, you get it locked away. It is quite wet and rainy today, as you can see, but it's that fine rain as well. Well, you don't actually mind walking around with just a jumper on, but you get absolutely soaking wet from it. It's quite a deceiving type of rain, isn't it? So let's get on with our day then, shall we? Let's get driving around. Traffic has been really heavy today as well so far bit of a late start for myself normally well start times could vary really can't they? especially at this place on Monday I was starting at four o'clock in the morning yesterday and today it's been about eight o'clock start but however because the traffic was that bad I didn't actually get into work until half past eight so I was half hour late it took me over an hour to get into work because the East Lanks around the Wigan area and up towards Lee is just an absolute mess it really is absolute mess uh we do a left up here they'll go down towards ashton so we don't have to worry about going down the m6 south i don't know if it's been an accident on there because it does look it does look really slow and heavy traffic on the m6 southbound at the moment we've all got like a couple of miles to go as well from where we are so it's a nice little short drive through the town of Ashton. Get my armrest down, get a bit more comfort. Half past nine already, Jesus. Well, I'm all just not really at my first job yet. <laughs> Where was I on Monday? Monday was Milton Keynes. And yesterday was a nice and easy one drop to Mill, no, where was it, Middleton? Yeah, Middleton it was. So we had to go to Liverpool Docks first, and then go down towards Middleton and drop that off on the bay. It was there for about two and a half hours on the bay. But not very quick, unfortunately. But that happens at the time as well. It doesn't happen all the time, but Depends which client you're going to, it's a little bit more often than not. Some of them. Unfortunately, but hey, oh, that's why we download Netflix on our phones. I bring a computer game with me so I can pass a little bit of time. If you are enjoying the content as well, guys, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe as always if you are new to the channel. And again, I really do appreciate all the support of everybody it does return to watch these vlogs as well. really do appreciate it, so thank you very much. I try and give out as many tips as I can on a day-to-day -day basis as well. The reversing or what things to look out for when you're driving around somewhere. It might be a little bit tight. Like here, for an example, it can be a little bit tight at times. So which way is that tractor going? Okay, we're in the same way as the tractor. We're going to be doing right. this bus is going up this coach it's quite it's like an awkward long but tight turn so you have to make sure we're staying close to the curves without hitting the bollards but at the same time we need to swing it out so the trailer doesn't drag across the corner and causing damage to the things that are on the pedestrian sidewalk such as the uh, bollards or people as well you don't know what people Dragged under your trailer, do you? That will be a bad day, isn't it? When you're going 
overpass roads as well, junctions, etc. You just need to be careful with the ones that have got a barrier up. Because if it's like a normal curb corner, if your trailer cuts a little bit, it's not too bad. But if you cut a little bit and there's a big railing on the side of it, that's just going to cause a hell of a lot of damage. So always give a little bit more of a wide berth when you're going around them style corners. A little bit like this one here now. So I'm doing a left, so I'm going to take a little bit of the right up, following this line. Keep me indicator on from the left so the other pedestrians and traffic know which way I'm turning. Swing it round as so. And then we we'll just go follow the lines going up. I'm not a driving instructor by the way, so I'm just gonna throw it out there. This is of my personal experiences when I do give like little things like that, little guides or tips for what to do in certain locations or scenarios. So I'm not a driving instructor. Just throwing it out there, I could be doing everything completely wrong, but <laughs> I might not be. busy as well. Uh, our client's just up here on the right hand side. Not some go down, a little bit further down. And hopefully I can get straight in. And the yard's not busy because there's always like tankers in there while I'm filling up. I don't know what it is, like rain or sugars. I've always got loads of tankers inside the yard, so it's got me a little bit tight. Well, that's the first job all completed. Now, let's get ourselves over to St. Helens, drop one off, and then the same client we're picking 11 up as well. arrived now over at our job near St. Helens and there's a truck in the yard so I need to wait for them to come out but it's quite tight as well to get in so as soon as he comes out I've got reverse back and then try and swing it into their little yard. Let's try and reverse it back. There's a couple of vans parked around and cars so I need to be careful of them too. Keep it going back. It's like a little lane this where we am at the moment and there's a couple of tiny yards <laughs> to get in so I'm going to the left hand side just where that lamp post is so what I've got to do first is swing it over to the right and then a hard left because it's pretty much like a 90 degree turn to try and get in so I need to make sure the trailer doesn't cut the corner Got a little wall on this side as well. Close as I can. I'm 
and then I'm in a round. There we go. Then I've got to spin it in this little tiny yard. So wish me luck for that one. Ten shunts later, and here we are in our nice little yard. Can't park that there, mate. Can't park that there. God knows what's happened with that trailer. But yeah, it looks like it's been dumped, isn't it? Let's not forget to set that ride height. Drop the second wheel down. Make sure all the axles are all good weight, etc. A little bit tight getting out here again. It's got to keep it far to the left as I can. Because it's got a really tight turn now to the right. Oh my god, we are spinning. Bloody MAN trucks. Traction sort of garbage at times when it's wet. And you got a bit of weight on. Not overly heavy. Heavy enough. Got barriers everywhere as well. Take it a bit wide. Hopefully I can get around. Very tight, very, very tight. Cars parts everywhere. Posts everywhere. make it easy for you honestly some of the car drivers what are about parking spaces to rent there let's move over here to the left let these little cars through Not a single one of them said thanks yet. Cheers, mate. Bloody hell. It literally takes a second just to throw the finger out of the hand to say thanks. So what you have to do, a little, a little five, just throw your hand up, acknowledge the other person who's let you through. Oh, that winds me up as well when they don't. Traffic lights are on, so good, I can get through. Straight down these lengths, straight to the depot, unload, and then I've got about four different places to go for collections, and they're all quite local as well today. I'm not going anywhere too far, I think it's in Skem. Um, back to St. Helens, Ashton. I think it's St. Helens, that's a good one, I can't remember. Might be Wigan, Skem, Wigan, and then Ash Ashton. Probably make more sense that way, wouldn't it? Instead of sending me down to St. Helens. It's currently 20 to 12 as well, so after I get unloaded in the yard, probably near 1 o'clock, and then I need to try and figure out a way I can cook some burgers and then get on with the collection. So the problem is, we've been raining, I've got a gas hob. I don't really want to be using the gas stove. A little quick flash. I don't want to be using the gas stove when it's raining. But it's not a hammering now, so I might get away with it, because it is a burger I'm going to be cooking. So as long as the pan's a little hot, get a couple of drops of water from the sky in there. It's not really too bad, it's not the end of the world, is it? I'll go water it down like a spaghetti bolognese or a curry or something, is it? I am off work tomorrow, so there won't be any vlog for Friday, unfortunately. But there will be one back up on Monday, so just bear that in mind as well. Friday, there won't be a vlog, because tomorrow I'm not really doing anything, to be honest with you. I'm just going to be sat at home, babysitting the little man, looking after him and um, painting one of the rooms as well. Got a nice and quiet one tomorrow. Which I don't mind, to be honest with you, because it's sometimes good, isn't it, just to put your feet up, not have to do anything. 
especially on a weekday anyway. Definitely. Again, just be careful all the barriers on this turn here. Make sure your trailer doesn't cut the corner too much. And then on the right hand side here as well, you always get quite a lot of people come cutting across onto my side of the road to get past one or two cars. And the traffic lights. just gone past 12 o'clock and the plan of action what we're going to be doing is going to Haydock collecting nine pallets delivering them nine pallets straight to their customer over in Skem and then down to Ashton to collect eight pallets and that's coming back to our site after our delivery in Skem I'd probably take a break about then and I need to try and figure out how to cook these burgers because it's throwing it down outside at the moment absolutely bloody awful out there today so our job in Skem is going to be about 25 minutes drive and 11 miles away. Break time. Ooh, gonna need you. You, Ooh, you could come in handy. And a little bit of salt. Frying pan and cooker. Bloody rain, always ruining my plans. Now I always disconnect gas before it goes back in because I don't want to risk anything like leaking or anything so I'll put it on there. Um, just putting it on top of these boxes for now whilst I just sort everything out and then we're going to be cooking it over there. Because last thing I want to be doing is setting fire to the customer's goods or ruining them with the grease and we need a good ventilated area as well so we've got to make sure oh it's ventilated. Got to get out nice and hot. Flames. Smoking. There's one. And there's two. Now, before you judge me for having two burgers for dinner, I'm having nothing else. I'm just having the burgers on their own. And because it's a two pack, I've kind of got to eat them both because I'm not in tomorrow. So I don't want to leave them in the fridge, in work, truck, or anything. And I'm probably not eat them at home because I'll be on myself. So, you know, don't think Leanne's going to eat them. Bloody, bloody yummy. Could say we're living the best life right now, aren't we? Give that a little flick. Yummy. Turn the heat down a little bit because I don't want to cook too much on the outside but not in the middle. Nice sprinkle of salt. Now it's salt flakes, it looks like a lot worse than what it is. There's not as much. Now I'm going to experiment a little bit and I'm going to try a bit of hoisin sauce cooked in with a burger so it'll be like so it'll be like a bit of a glaze for them. Damn has it got cold in it? They are looking bloody good. This is gonna be a pain to clean. That's the burger buns prepared ready for the juicy burger. Now if I say so myself them burgers look bloody good. Now if we go back to the cab Enjoy my burgers, why not, eh? Wish me luck. Bloody lovely. Five minutes, or oh, takes what? Ten minutes, maybe. Well worth doing. Well worth it. Uh, time to give it a little bit of a clean. This is like just a little small fix for now, just to get rid of most of the crap. And when I get back to the yard later on, I'll be able to wash it in the sink properly. Same for this little fellow as well. Get that washed as well. Dab, dab, dab. Stick that back. Gas can sit in there for now. It is now closed. I think I really need to invest in another power inverter so I can then get a little small George Foreman, start cooking on that. Get a little microwave maybe. And I've got my kettle up there already, which I can't really use because I haven't got any Power cables for it. So that is gonna be the next big purchase, but I think they're around about 200 quid, aren't they, for a good one. Now, it's a lot of money, isn't it, just to cook a few bacon butties 
and buy a few brews, but in the long run, I think it will save money. Arrived now at our location. Um, might be a bit of a problem though. I don't know if this might be a mix up with the paperwork or anything, but they weren't expecting any pallets coming in, especially nine pallets anyway. So the woman and I know we've got to accept it. I've told them we're booked in for three o'clock in references, but they think that it might be the Bursco site and not here. I'm not gonna lie, that wasn't a, a great yard to spin around in either. Good old jackknife with the air leads out again. Delivery all done, trailer empty. It's currently half past four at the moment. So still got plenty of hours in the day to be sent out and do more things. Hopefully, once we get back to the yard, which is only for about a 15 minute drive, to be honest with you, it's not far at all. So we are in Ashton at the moment. And probably half hour to get unloaded if there's a queue, or a little bit longer maybe. Depends how long the queue is. And then hopefully that will be done for, say, half past five six o'clock it's not too bad that is it since it started at eight o'clock i'm happy with that some could call that winning silver car you stay there we've got a bit of a queue here as well in ashton it's that time of the day isn't it everybody starts Leaving work, school runs, etc. They're all done, so everyone's on their way back home. Got nice houses down here, actually. Never really noticed them before. Oh my god, that's well cool. I wish I could actually show you. But somebody's got snow art in the window for Halloween, and it's the Adams family with Wednesday on the front. And it looks literally picture perfect for it. Whoever's done that, hats off to you, sir. That is amazing job. Amazing artwork. I'm trying to come up with ideas as well. What else like an actual cook with a frying pan or a saucepan? I might be able to do like curry probably I'll do that um, I'll probably be able to make pancakes oh do I that's a, not a bad shout pancakes I can make the pancake mix at home because I prefer making my own mix at home it always comes out a lot better than that packet stuff and then I could I've just used the frying pan oh yeah that's not a bad idea that could do pancakes next week who knows I'm trying to think of a way to do a full English Still on me list to do spaghetti bolognese, it's gonna be on there. Um, I think what else could I do? Could do a curry, I think I said that already though. I'm gonna mm, stir fry, yeah, stir fry could be done. Good, it's quite easy to do, isn't it? Boil the noodles for four minutes. Well, I don't even boil them really, just. Boil the water, then leave them settling for four minutes. Whilst I fry the rest of the stuff off in the pan. Hmm. Okay, yep, got me thinking now. Got me thinking. Yeah, next week I'm gonna try and do a stir fry on one day. I might do pancakes on another day because I'm like a big kid. <laughs> it's nowhere near pancake day, but hey, we all have a bit of pancakes, don't we? Uh, not the healthiest either, is it? Let's be honest with you. Spaghetti bolognese, I should be able to do that on another day. Do some more fried rice again, maybe. They've actually got your easy ones, haven't you? Like your bacon and egg butters and stuff. Can do them, no problems. Like a bit of spam. Everybody loves a bit of spam, don't they? Just needed a bit of sauce last time, a bit of brown sauce. That's all I need on that spam butter. I'm prepared for that now. now. Cause I've got some sachets of HP brown sauce. Some jobs are good in for next time. Yeah, it's about three miles or so from where we are now. Should be back there in about 10 minutes. Traffic's looking nice as well. Not too busy. Just got back to the yard now. Two drivers in front of me. So I'm in a little bit of a queue at the moment. Probably about 45 minutes 
give or take. Hopefully it might only be a half hour. And then I've got to drop the trailer and get everything else sorted. So I'll probably yeah, about a six o'clock finish, I reckon, because it's about quarter to five at the moment. So yeah, it's not too bad still, is it? Six o'clock, eight o'clock start. Yeah, I'm happy with that anyway. So I'm going to leave the video there for now. So thanking you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much, honestly. It really does mean a hell of a lot to me. All the support and everything. It's amazing. So thank you very much. If you've got any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.